Uh, greetings again in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Pastor May J. H. Gilbert Sr., coming to you this morning at our worship hour from On the Wall. He ministers here in Alta, Virginia. We thank God for joining us again, and we just want to greet you in 2024. Happy New Year to each one of you, and we just praise God that he's going to continue to bless us in spite of what things look like, how things are, and what things are doing. So we're giving God all praise, God all honor for He what he has done in our lives. So we're going to come to you this morning with a little worship song. I am blessed. Lord, 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 Lord. you are blessing me. We're going to get into that this morning. We hopefully will get into a little spirit this morning. Let's, let's get a little beat. Lord, 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 you've been blessing me when I look where you have brought me. You show sure them blessing me. Yeah, Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord, Lordy, Lordy. You've been blessing me. I can tell the world. Tell the world that I've been blessed. And I've been blessed. Yeah, Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord, Lordy, Lordy. You've been blessing me. When I look where you You've sure been blessing me, yeah, Lord, 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 you've been blessing me, I can tell the way, tell the world that I've been blessed, and I've been blessed, yeah, when I woke up early this morning, hallelujah, I was closing my right mind, hallelujah, Hallelujah. I know my family was doing fine. Oh, hallelujah. I want to thank him for how he kept me. Hallelujah. I want to thank him. He never left me. I can tell the world. Tell the world that I've been blessed. I've been blessed. I've been blessed. Yeah. I may not have a mansion. Hallelujah. I may not have a place to sleep. Oh, hallelujah. I may not have a lot of money. Hallelujah. Well, I thank God I have food to eat. Hallelujah. I want to thank him for how he kept me. Hallelujah. I want to thank him. He never left me. I can tell the world. Tell the world that I am blessed. I am blessed. Yeah. chapter verses 1 through 23. We got a little long reading this morning. Proverbs 6 chapter verses 1 through 23. Our scripture read, My son, if thou be sure to thy friend, if thou hast stricken thy hand with a stranger, and that thou art snared with the words of thy mouth, thou art taken with the words of thy mouth, do this now. 
My son, deliver thyself when thou art come into the hand of thy friend. Go humble thyself and make sure thy friend. Give not sleep in thine eyes, nor slumber in thine eyelids. Deliver thyself as a roe from the hand of the hunter, and as a bird from the hand of the fowler. Go to the hand, thy slugger, and consider her ways, and be wise, in which having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provided her meat in the summer, and gathered her food in the harvest. How long will thy sleep, O slugger? What when will thy arise out of thy sleep? Yet a little sleep and a little slumber and a little folding of thy hands to sleep, so shall thy poverty come as one that travaileth, and thy want is an armed man. A naughty person and a wicked man that walketh with a forward mouth, he winketh with his eyes and speaketh with his feet, and he teacheth with his fingers a forwardness that is in his heart. He delivereth with mischief continually, and he soweth discord. Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly, and suddenly shall be broken without remedy. There are six things doth the Lord hate. Yes, seven is an abomination unto him, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked imagination, feet that are swift, Run into mischief, yeah. a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among the brethren. My son, keep thy father's commandment and forsake not the law of thy mother. Bind them continually upon thine heart and tie them about thy neck. When thou goest, it mm. shall lead thee. When thou sleepest, it shall keep thee. When thou awakest, it shall talk with thee. For the commandment is a lamp. And the law is a light, and the reproofs of this instruction are the way of life. Amen. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his holy and righteous word. Let the household of faith say, Amen. Amen. You know, as we enter into a new year, you know, the, the media is filled with PDTD or Epstein's list. And instead of thanking God for how far that he has brought us, because of his grace and mercy, somehow we still alive. We are still focusing on things that are not are not negative, that are negative but not positive to the kingdom of God. How, we, we've all come up short, haven't we? In, in this yeah. human race that we are created in the likeness and the image of God, uh, we are created uh, in his image and likeness, and then we can all say that we have all come up short. Yes, and, 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 and I found out that within this Humanity that even in my own, you can almost say anything or do anything. Can I get an amen? Yeah, That's yeah. our human nature. The Bible says in the time of Noah that God saw that weakness was on great upon the earth. And every imagination and thought was evil continually. And he repented that he ever even made man on the earth. Come and it on. grieved him in his heart. Come man on. had become so wicked. From uh, that one, one man to another, you just don't know what to expect. Now, even today, you'll run across somebody That's and up. you'll meet somebody that you expect one thing, you will find another. Hey, hey. You Come can on. find good men and women and children, but on the other hand, there are some bad folk mm. everywhere you go. Folk That's can up. and will uh, uh, come at you in any kind of way. And it amazes me mm. that the same man can be good one minute. On, but he can be bad in the next minute. Yes, he, can. he can be ugly before all of that is over with. Yep. The Bible asks the question, does a fountain send forth in the same sweet and bitter water? Can the fig tree, my brother, and bow all his berries mm. and either vine figs? So can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh water. I know the Bible says that it shouldn't be that way, but many of us have multiple personalities. And That's so acting good out good in one day, and the next yeah. day you're acting bad. Yep, and yep. many of us found ourselves in that same uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, situation that one minute we're doing good, and the next minute ugly is coming all out of us. Yep. So instead of focusing on the errors of others, worrying about PDTD and, and Epstein, you need to be worrying about your own soul salvation. Just All so. of those things are distractions to yeah. take our eyes off of us and put our eyes on other folk. We need to keep our eyes on the prize and make sure that, that we should be able to do that thing 
means that God is pleasing in his sight. Mm. So we need to keep our eyes off those, those that causing us to have distraction and put our eyes on the prize to make sure our name is on God's list. Don't worry yeah. about it. Hey, we don't need to be worrying about Epstein's list. Yeah. We need to be worrying about is our name written on the book of life. Yeah. Our focus no. should be on ministering to those that are lost and hurt that we are looking down on, and then we should pray for TD, pray for PD, and then pray for Epstein, so that all that that all of us we're in the same boat. All of us have sin and come short of the glory of God. Amen. So this day, on this first Sunday in the new year, I want to talk to you on the subject on 2024: how to minister to the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> how to minister in 2024 to the good the bad and the ugly. Let us bow. Father God, we do thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for this opportunity to come. And as we come, Lord, we ask that you would just lure your dear furrow servant into the deep well of thy salvation. Touch my lips that I might boldly say those things that you laid upon my heart in secret now that I might now publicly reveal to your people. Lord, we thank you and we praise you and we give your name all glory and power. In Jesus' name, let us all say Amen. Amen. You know, 2024 will demand us to minister to people of all walks of life. You know, ministry is not where we can choose who we minister to and choose who we don't minister to. God has sent us to minister to people from all walks of life. You know, ministry is for not the faint of heart. You, you, you can't have an easy stomach or soft a demeanor when you're out in ministry. If you can't stomach some good, some bad, and some ugly folk, you in the wrong business. You need to just uh, start doing something else. Cause, but uh, uh, your, your ministry demands us uh, to be able to deal with people when they don't smell good, yeah. when they don't look good, yeah. when they don't sound good, uh, when they're uh, not good. But yeah. when we hold up ministry, yeah. rather than giving ministry that God has commanded us to do based on those things, we're the ones that have fallen short. Yeah. So good, the bad, and the ugly. That was a movie that came out a few years ago, 1996. Human Cleef in Eastwood, they played in where two men uh, had this uneasy alliance and the third man that came looking for fortune gold that was buried. And the three men were the three different temples and to three different tastes and all three different men were three different backgrounds. When the first man, he was an ex-bounty hunter. And then the, the second man, uh, he, he was a fast a greedy man, and the third man was a cold-blooded murderer. Then you get these three together, and they found out that they needed somehow to work together. Yes, Lord. And you you, you yes, got three different Lord. people from three different backgrounds. Yes. One is a bounty hunter, one is a, 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 a greedy man, and the other one is a murderer, but those three had to find out somehow they had to work things out together. Yeah. Uh, they had to work together. See, that, that all, in order for them to find the, where the goal was, they had to trust one another, even in their different situations or different attitudes or different demeanors or different tempers that they had. See, sometimes God will put you in a situation that you're going to have to trust people yes. that you don't usually trust. Yes, Lord. Because some of the people that you trust are not people that you can trust. Say Listen to me again. again. Some of the people that you trust are not people you can trust. trust. And some of the people that you don't trust are the very people that God will put into your path where you will be able to have to trust them anyway. Lord, but the problem is when, when you get people that are were operating out of different the different uh, 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 backgrounds and different attitudes, and, and that can they really trust each other? Mm. You know, life is filled with people just like that, ain't it? Yes, it is. That, that have, want to get to the same place, but don't trust each other to get there. No, no, no. But somehow, we just can't trust each other either. Those many times, even in the church, so. religion, we are not exempt for not trusting people. Hard to find folk in the church that really that you can trust. Yep. And then, if we would be honest with ourselves, all of us got some of these three Character traits that is amplified in that movie, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah, yeah some of that down in inside of us, and we just can't find no way to get ourselves 
away from trusting ourselves mm -hmm. rather than trusting God. That's Trying right. to search for the most uh, we can get out of life, but one looks for the good, one looks for the bad, then somebody's looking for the other. Yeah. They're they going to look for that. Everybody don't go through life trying to acquire things the same way. Some people will take the good path, some will take the bad path, then other folk going to take that ugly path. Yes, they so, are. So all of that works together. But yes. Paul said, for the good that I would not do and the evil that I would not, that I would do, not if I do that I would not, but it's more, it is not more that I do, but sin that dwelleth in me. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is ever present. Yes, so is. that's the good, the bad, and the and ugly the coming out on the each side of us every day, battling every moment in our yeah. life, trying to see which one is going to get the yeah. upper hand in our life. Come on. Each of us are struggling uh, uh, for our identity. Uh, or whether or not that we're going to do what's right or whether we're going to fall and do that thing which is wrong. We're in a battle all day long, every day. Don't take this thing lightly. Listen no, to the children. No, 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 Paul writes in the Corinthians in Ephesus, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, no, we but we wrestle against principalities yes. and powers, yes. against rulers of darkness yes. of this world, yes. and against spiritual weakness in high places. So this is not something to be taken lightly. No, this not. is a serious matter that we are in, and if we put you in some dangerous situation, if you would allow God to use you, God ain't going to send you somewhere where it's always going to be easy. No. God will put you into some serious situation if you would hold on to it. I don't care how much you think you're holy. I don't care how much you think that you're close to God. You got some stuff inside of you that you're going to have to deal with. Yep. I know I'm not alone here. Sometimes no matter how good our attentions are, the bad and the ugly is right there and you got to deal with it. And look, it ain't it. deep. It's right on the surface and you got to deal with that yep. thing in your own personal life. The question is, what are they? What, what's there? How can our behavior express that, that alter ego characteristics that we have, why is it working that way? Mm -hmm. Our text is written to, by the wisest man in the world. Mm -hmm. He tells us that the character traits that causes us to express these certain behavioral attitudes. Our behavior is foremost in living this Christian life. How do we respond? And what comes out of us is what the world uh, is measuring us by. If you come out of your mouth with the wrong attitude, they say you a Christian. Yeah. So we have to be always constant and, and, and concerned about how we are reflecting the, the attitude of Christ in our Christian walk. Amen. In Paul's letter here to the church in Rome, he reflects the teaching of Jesus. He said, bless them that persecute you and bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. But be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceit. Recompense no man evil for evil. Provide things that are honest in the sight of all men. And if it be possible, listen, he says, as yeah. much as it lies in you, live peaceably with all men. See, life is not easy when it's coming with dealing with folk. Nope. But God demands us that if we're going to identify ourselves as being a follower of Jesus Christ, he demands us that we have to have some accountability. Yes, Lord. Stop causing trouble, church yeah. folk. If you yield yourself over to the flesh, all kinds of things going to happen to your life. Do I have a witness in the house? Yeah. Have you ever surprised yourself the way you responded that was not out of you? It wasn't your character. See, I'm that's that thing on the inside of you that you're dealing with. Somehow, when you strike a nerve, the good, the bad, or the ugly is going to show up. I like what the old persuaders used to say. He says it's a thin line between love and hate. I know everybody in here knows what the point is. When I get uh, uh, when, when I get foolish, when I get foolish, my wife, my wife always telling me, don't you go there. Uh, don't, sometimes we don't know when it will come. We don't know where it comes from. All of a sudden, bam, that thing hit us and our mouth opens up. So what is it that caused us to do that? How can we identify these character traits that, that are in our own personal life?
lives so that we can recognize them when we come so that we can send off those temptations. Say so, say so. Uh, send it off. Send you you got to be able to lay it aside. Yeah, lay it aside. Because that thing going to come at you. It's coming. And if you're not aware. It's coming. And pop goes the yeah. easel, ain't it? It's going to come out. So in our text this morning, yeah. Solomon addresses these the good. He he. How do you minister to the good? My question was, how do you minister to the bad, the good, and the ugly? How do you do? How do you minister to the good? Our text says this morning. He says, "My son, if thou be a surety of a friend, if thou hast stricken your hand of a stranger and snared with the words of thy mouth, thou art taken with the words of thy mouth. Do this now," he said, "My son, deliver thyself." When thou art come into the hand of thy friend, go humble thyself and make thy friend. Give no sleep to thy eyes, nor slumber in thy eyelids. Deliver thyself as a roe from the hand of the hunter, and as a bird from the hand of the fowler. Go to the ant, thy slugger. Consider thy ways and be wise. And then when you're having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provide her meat in the summer and gather food in the harvest. How long will thou sleep, O sluggard? Will thou arise out of thy sleep? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of thy hands to sleep, so shall thy poverty come as one that travaileth and thy want as an armed man. See, but good, being good is hard, ain't it? Mm. Being good is also hard to define. Yeah. How do you define good when you're working with your folk? Yeah. How do you find good accountability for yeah, our I'm actions is the first step that we have for good behavior? Good behavior requires us to be accountable for our actions. Yes. Good intentions can sometimes lead to bad decisions. And yes. good intentions can sometimes lead to bad decisions. Yes, Lord. You should yes. do all you can to help folk, but if the Holy Spirit warns you of this alliance, see, sometimes the Holy Spirit will tell you to stay away from folk. Sometimes yes. you won't listen to nobody, but when the Holy Spirit tells you to stay away yes, from folk, Lord. you need to stay away from folk. Yes. Trying to help folk that won't help themselves is not really helping them at all. Mm -mm. Helping folk trying that will not help themselves is really not helping them at all. No. You remember what the old saying is, sometimes we become an enabler. You give a man a fish and he'll feed himself for a day. Give that man a fishing rod and he'll learn to feed himself for a lifetime. Come so on, sometimes man. we help people, we become enablers. Yes. We need to be yes. good but careful on how we deal with folk. <laughs> Especially folks' problems. Yes, Lord. We're trying to help folk, but you can't help folk and fix their problems. They have to fix the problems. Yes, See, yes. I many of us this morning know that there are a lot of crazy, lazy folk. Yeah. And I'm talking about good folk. Yeah. They're good folk, but yeah. they're just lazy folk. Tell them to take a lesson from their aunt. <laughs> See, to, I, how do you minister to the good aunt. people? Tell them, take a lesson from the aunt. Take a note from the aunt. Be yeah. wise. Go the way of the slogan. He said, life in some circumstances, when you refuse to use wisdom, God will allow you to take you through some stuff. The Bible tells me, he said, wake up and smell the coffee. Huh? Good oh, folk in this situation need to be told to get some wisdom. So. Huh? When good folk can make mistakes. Yeah. So how do you minister to good people? You evaluate that situation and tell them to use wisdom. Wake up. Get up off that do nothing and act yeah. like that in. And when you're in the world, you must learn to minister to those in all avenues of life, whether they be good, bad, yeah. or ugly. Come on, man. Then next he tells us about the bad. How do you minister to the bad? Yeah. He said, a naughty person and a wicked man walking with a forward mouth. He mm -hmm. winks in his eyes and he speaks with his feet and he teaches with his fingers. Yeah. Forwardness is in his heart. He desires his mistress continually yeah. and he saw his discord. Therefore, shall his calamity come down on him suddenly and suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. Mm -hmm. uh, just as there are good folk in church. Yes, they are. There are no lack of bad folks. See, I didn't say there were bad folk in the church. There is no lack of no bad lack. folks in the church. No folk lack. trying to help everyone they can, and there are a lot of folk that are always trying to deceive you. Yeah. Also, you're trying to help folk, but then you can't help everybody because there are some folk out there that are just trying to deceive you. Yeah. They're bad folk. Yes. So the thing about it is I found out that if I help good folk, God blesses me. Yeah. If I hit bad folk, 
God going to bless me still. So sometimes you just have to be a blessing to them in spite of, but what you also have to do, you have to give them some information. The good news says what? You see, we have some church folk that are always looking for help, but never willing to help anybody else. That's so. Huh? Those are bad folk. Yeah. Folk that are always looking for help, but always never willing to help anybody else. Nobody. The Bible says worthless, weak, wicked people that go around telling lies. They wink and they make gestures to deceive you, all the while planning evil in their perverted mind, stirring up trouble, evil in, uh, everywhere. And because this disaster will strike them without warning, and they will be fatally wounded. See, it's very critical for the lack of missions in the local church. And I take it personally to do my best to fill that gap. Uh, when I see the a lot of time when the church is and, and the ministry is not doing what it should see. We have to have a personal ministry. Amen. Don't tell nobody that the church ain't doing what it's supposed to be doing, and you ain't doing nothing. Ain't doing nothing. See, the thing about it is, but those individuals will always be talking about the church ain't doing what it's never been doing. But the thing is, you got to get to ministry on a personal level. Yes, God's Lord. charge to the church was not a totally a corporate charge. Yes. I know he gave a corporate charge to the church, but it's a personal charge. Jesus tells us in the parable about the sheep and the goat. For I was hungry uh, and had no meat, and you gave me no meat, and I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was stranger, and you did not take me in. I was naked, and you did not clothe me. Mm. Huh? And then shall they answer him, saying, Lord, we saw thee that when did we see you was hungry? When did we see you was thirsty? Oui. When did we see you was a stranger? Oui. When did we see you was naked? Oui. When did we see you was sick? He says unto them, early, early, as much as you did unto one of the least of these little ones, you did it also unto me. Nice. See, are there any goats in the house? And we, we got sheep in the house, but there are some goats. Bad yep. folk always talking about the church not helping, but doing nothing themselves. Yep. Bad folk causing Jesus. trouble on every hand and never trying to bring Glory. peace to the house of God. Glory. And bad folk stomping their feet. Pointing Jesus. their fingers at other folk, but doing nothing themselves. Yeah. See, bad folk that don't realize that there's an object to their demise. Mm. He said, you're going to get it, ain't he? Yeah. He said, you're going to get it. Just keep on being bad. On. Telling them hurtful truth is the only way to help bad people. Tell come them on, the truth. Tell them what the word of God says. And, and then we got to understand all of that. It's done to glorify God. It's done to lift up the kingdom of God. The thing about it is, you got to let them know that, uh, I, I like the old commercial on television, <laughs> pay me now, pay me later. You're going to take care of this thing now, or God is going to take care of this thing later. Yeah. So the bad need to be ministered to more than the good people. Yeah. We need to look at those people as needing the gospel, needing the word of God. So let's not be held back on telling them what God uh, has commanded us to let them know because of the fact they're bad. Mm -hmm. We got to minister them as well. Amen. So then finally Solomon tells us mm -hmm. about the ugly. Mm -hmm. How do you minister to ugly people? Oh, Lord. Huh? Our text says what? There are six things that the Lord hates. Six things. Seven is an abomination unto him. Mm. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that divides with wicked imagination, mm. feet that swift are running to mischief, <laughs> false witness that speaks lies, and he that soweth discord among the brothers. Jesus. Um, bad is bad enough, ain't it? Yeah, bad is bad enough. But ugly is at another level, ain't it? Ugly oh, is uh, when, 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 you, when you have bad folk that you're dealing with in a Christian environment, it's hard to deal with them. But when you get ugly folk, you can't, you can't have a meeting, you can't have a discussion without the ugly coming out. Mm -hmm. When your behavior goes from bad to ugly, it is serious. Yes, According sir. to Google, adjectives are different between bad and ugly. If bad is not good, it's unfavorable, while ugly is just displeasing to the eye. Yes, it See, is. you can't look at ugly and, and, and say it's good. No. See, bad kind of look like good sometimes, yeah, sometimes but ugly sometimes. can't look, uh, ugly well, can't look good, don't ugly. care how it is. And as long as you deal with that, we got some problems. One educator said good, bad, and ugly communications are pretty much what they sound like. Good communication is effective and is direct and is positive and is simple. Bad communications is ineffective 
because it confuses and does not send a message. But he said ugly communication is not only ineffective, but it does not send the message, but it offends. Mm. See, ugly offends, and that's the first thing that we have to realize, that ugly offends. Have you ever met folks? I mean, what? Folk that go to church that were uh -huh. just plain yeah. ugly, yeah. offensive, and nothing yeah. good to say about anybody. Jesus. We learn a lot about yeah. mean, ugly Christian evangelicals yeah. at this last election. Do y'all want me to man. say that again? On, if you want to find mean Christian, look at the political arena that yeah. we're in now. Ugly behaving yeah. for Christians and, and not a kind word to say about a candidate or anybody else. Yeah. And don't have a good thing to say. Jesus was too passive. That's what they're telling me now. These are Christians saying yeah. Jesus was too passive. He don't want you to love your enemy. He don't want you to, 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 use, to love those that despitefully use you. No. Jesus is too passive. Bad is bad enough, but ugly. He says it's an abomination. Yeah. The good news said there are seven things that the Lord yes, hates now. and cannot tolerate. Proud look, a lion tongue, hands that kill innocent people, a mind that oh. thinks of wicked plans, yeah. feet that hurry up to do evil, a witness that tells one lie after another, yeah. and someone who stirs up trouble among friends. God loves good folk, yes, he can does. work with some bad folk, mm. but he will not tolerate ugly folk. No, he won't. Proud lies, murderers, no. weak no. and busy no. bothers, deceitful, always stirring up trouble. God hates those individuals and, and the pride that is inside of them because it at the bottom of it is sin that, that rises up on the inside of them. And, and, and next, that proud look. Folk that got pride in their heart, looking down all over others. Those that man, shed innocent on, blood. Those that are wise but still do evil or yeah. heart. Designed evilness in each and every day. See, that behavior <laughs> is, is acquainted with, with, with Satan. Yes, they got is. attitudes that are more uh, demonic than any of us. They in feet that are always hey. swiftly running toward trouble, yes, lying God. all the time. He said, those seven things that God hates, lying involves two of them. He said, he hates them. Mm -hmm. And finally, God of love and the peace, he hates those that so mm. are Discord always causing trouble among the brethren. He said that 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 I, 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 the Bible says in Galatians six and six and seven. He said, "Be not deceived; God shall not be mocked. That every man, what a man soweth, that he also reap." So that yeah. bad attitude, that ugly attitude that you have, a lot of times you wonder why people come at you that way that because what you're doing, you're reaping what you already sowed. Come on. You're going to reap what you sow. See, I like what old Miss Sealy said. Miss hey. Sealy said, "Everything that you do to me, come back. You're going to do it right back to yourself." So. And, if it ain't happened yet, wait it on, brothers and sisters. Just it's keep coming. on being ugly. You're going to get your God and going to get things right. God it will not tolerate ugly. God is a blessing. He, he got a blessing or a curse in his hand. So which one you going to get? And the best yeah. thing for me, I got to minister to the ugly, no matter how ugly they get. I got to be able to have a word for them to comfort them. I got to be able to let them know that God is not pleased. God is not pleased with your attitude. God will not uh, give uh, you your blessings if you have that attitude. Yes, and the sir. best way for me to minister is to other people and let them know what the word of God says. Say Tell them what the word of God says. Yeah. Don't, don't become an enabler. Don't mm. be able to enable the attitude to be able to go around hurting other folk in the church. Yes, Lord. Let them know what the word of God says. And if you don't be able to Say. turn, he said, turn mm. from your wicked ways. Right. We got to understand that. So as we close this morning, focusing on 2024, and we must find ways to minister to the good, the bad, and the ugly. We will encounter the good, the bad, and the ugly in this world. And God has called us to reach them all the way to the end of the world. Don't give up on them. We, we'll, we'll go and make one try. No, he said go to the uttermost ends of the world. He said, my son, keep thy father's commandment. Forsake not the law of thy mother. Bind them continually upon thine heart and tie them about thy neck. And when thou goest, uh, it shall lead thee. And when thou sleepest, it shall keep thee. And when thou awakest, it shall talk with thee. For the commandment is a lamp and the light is the, the law is the light and the proof of destruction in the way of life. So in order for us 
to get people's lives to change, we have to let them know that God has commanded them to be able to do some things that will be able to make them a better individual. And then when we all struggle with the cares of the world, but reaching the good, the bad, and the ugly depends on us reflecting the character of Christ. we got to reflect the character of Christ. Being like Christ becomes our way of life. And that's when people's lives will begin to change. It's what will open doors. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one coming to the Father but by me. So Jesus shows us the way, and all we have to do is reflect that to those individuals, whether they be good, bad, or ugly. Do you remember physics class? Y'all ever take physics class? Y'all remember the law uh, 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 that, that, that says that uh, uh, every action uh, is, is, is met by an opposite and equal reaction. That's Newton's third law yeah. of motion. But the thing about it is, if you reflect good, bad, or ugly, the same going to come back at you. See, the only way that we can minister to those that are bad, those that are ugly, is to be able to reflect the goodness of God. When we reflect the goodness of God to them, we are showing the power of God in the working of our lives. So we were always good. Nope. We were sometimes bad, yep. and we were sometimes ugly. But yep. by the grace of God, Jesus is the only way that we can win over that spirit and the power that is inside of us to be able to put to death those things that, that destroy us. That the, those bad attitudes and those 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 those, those, those ugly attitudes we yeah. have. See, the thing about it is, don't submit your character mm. to that character that doesn't reflect Christ. Don't submit to anything that doesn't reflect the character of Christ. Uh, John wrote, beloved, believe not every spirit. He said, but try the spirit, what? Bad. By the spirit. I like that old song that we used to sing, I must tell Jesus all of my trials. I cannot bear these burdens alone. In my distress, he kindly, uh, he kindly will keep me. He, he ever cares in loves of his own. I must tell Jesus all of my troubles. He's kind and compassionate friend. If I but ask him, he will deliver and make my troubles quickly to end. I must tell Jesus, I must tell Jesus, I cannot bear these burdens alone. I must tell Jesus, I must tell Jesus, Jesus can help me. Jesus is alone. So when those spirits of, 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 of bad and ugly began to arise up on the inside of you, you got to tell Jesus all about it. Tell Jesus all about it. He understands and he will help you bear them and live in victory over them. See, I don't want a God to just help me to bear them. God will help me to bear them, but he will also give me victory over them. Amen. Life is filled and uh, uh, is real, my church. And, and if we fail to recognize that those spirits are, are, are real, we will fail every time. Amen. The good, the bad, and the ugly yes, it is, is a reality that yes. we must face. Yes. But Jesus alone can be able to help us to minister to those that are going through those struggles in 2024. Mm. So if we want to minister to the good, the bad, and the ugly in 2024, yes. we got to Tell them to tell Jesus all about it. Huh? All about tell it. Jesus all about it. He is the only one can be able to help us get through these situations. Tell Jesus all about it. Mm -hmm. And when you tell him all about it, we'll be able to go out into this year to accomplish everything that God has charged us to do. So I wish each one of you a happy new year here in 2024. But I want to encourage you. we got to be able to minister to this entire world. Don't let the good, the bad, and the ugly uh, be able to uh, deter you from doing the work God has called you to do. Yes. Don't, don't, they depend on you. Those bad people need you. Those ugly people need you. Even the good folk, they need you. All of us have to have a word every now and then. Good folk going through problems. Bad folk dealing with issues, yeah. other folk dealing with their own problems. But we need to be about our father's business, telling them to go and tell Jesus all about it. And when they tell Jesus all about it, now they have someone who is able to fix their situation. Mm -hmm. God bless you this New Year's Sunday, this first Sunday in 2024. And we hope that each of you 
will come to the knowledge of knowing that God is dependent upon us to be able to minister to this old mean world that we are in. And hey, look, I, I like old Pastor Ollie Wilson. God doesn't have the two sets of hands. Mm -hmm. And that's my hand and your hand. God is dependent upon all of us to get this work done. But in order for the do it, to minister to the good, the bad, and the ugly, mm -hmm. we got to be able to willing to step out. Don't let folk hurt you. Nope. Don't let folks' opinions and their attitudes change you. But just be like Christ. Mm -hmm. Love them anyway. He said love your enemies. So we got to be able to love the good, the bad, and the ugly. Mm -hmm. And to be able to do the work God has called us to do. God bless you. May heaven ever smile upon you. Let us bow. Father God, we do thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for this opportunity to come. And hopefully we have ministered to people, letting them know that our duty is to be out and minister to the world that God has before us. Uh, everything won't be perfect. But God gave us a perfect Christ to be able to deal with imperfect people. So use Christ. Tell Christ all about it. And then allow the love of Christ to work in your heart where you'll be able to freely minister to those people without any hindrances in your own or without any uh, 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 negatives. But be positive and to go out and do what God has called us to do. If there is one today that has not accepted Jesus Christ as the personal Savior. My prayer is today that you would say, Lord, here I am. I, I stand before you as an empty pitcher before a full fountain. Fill my heart up with your love so that your love can cause me to look to thee for one that can save me. Mm -hmm. Old folk used to say, come running, saying, what shall I do to be saved? Mm -hmm. But we want to be able to invite you today. Get to know Christ. Open your heart up and get to know him. And as we prepare this morning for Holy Communion, we thank God for you joining us this morning. And, and we thank God for you uh, just supporting our ministry here and being with us here on uh, January 7th, mm -hmm. 2024. Mm -hmm. So as we prepare, if you have bread, if you have juice, if you have anything in your house that's made of liquid and bread, uh, we're going to pray over it and we're going to sanctify it. And then we're going to get Holy Communion this morning. Please prepare for Holy Communion. Let us, Father God, we just pray your blessings upon the bread. Mm -hmm. We pray for the juice that is representing your body. We sanctify it now in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. It says that 1 Corinthians 11th chapter verses 23 through 34. For I have received the Lord that I also delivered unto you that same Jesus who the night he had betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat this in my body which is broken to you and do it in remembrance of me. In the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, and saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye, as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, you show forth the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, brethren, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily, shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. Let a man examine himself, and let this man eat this bread and drink this cup. For he that eateth and drinketh, Unworthily eateth and drink his ambition to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we are judged ourselves, we shall not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, and we shall not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another. But if in a man hunger, let him eat at home, that ye come not together under condemnation, and the rest will I set in order when I come. having the bread at your home we ask you to take your bread and we've already blessed it the bread represents Jesus blood shed on Calvary's cross let's break it together he said that the juice represents his blood that was shed on Calvary's cross for the remission of sin Let us drink together. 
And he said, they sang a hymn and they went out into the Mount of Olives. He said, we're not in the Mount of Olives, but we got into hedges and highways. Going into the hedges and highways where those good, the bad, and the ugly are. And let them know about the saving blood of Jesus. Tell them that Jesus Christ died for their sins. And he said in his word, if you confess with your sins and believe in your mouth, that believe in your heart and confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is saved, thou shalt be saved. So God is asking us to tell everybody to receive Jesus Christ. And once you receive him, thou shalt be saved. God bless you. I know it was a blood save me when one day when I lost Jesus died on the cross. Well, I know it was the blood to save me. God bless you. May heaven have a smile upon you. We'll see you again Friday at our. Uh, at our uh, uh, Bible Institute hour Sunday morning, at our Sunday school hour at 9, our worship hour at 9.30. God bless you.